guys, this is a quick video on um, an article that appears on the front page of the Watchtower. And this is about the Watchtower really promoting in a conniving way um, world agendas from the United Nations. So it is an article, it is a series of articles that appears on the Watchtower under the uh, theme Keep on the Watch. So basically conditions that are appearing in the world and the Watchtower is trying to interpret the meaning of these uh, conditions in relation to end time prophecy verses. But for the past uh, few years, ever since it was exposed that the Watchtower was part of the United Nations and they were found out to be promoting uh, objectives and agendas of the United Nations, they restructured those uh, articles and now they start with the first three paragraphs promoting this agenda and then they go into this, uh, in this lukewarm explanation of, uh, you know, uh, we, we don't expect the same thing and we think Jesus is going to intervene. But really, if you think more about it, the first three paragraphs of these articles are always promoting these agendas from the United Nations or other organizations which are uh, very much hostile to end time uh, prophecy, end time environment prophecy, um, as it is in the Bible. So here's the one where they promote the recent uh, uh, climate change uh, uh, get together that they had in Egypt only a few, few days ago in November the 20th, 2022. So it's only been like, I don't know, uh, 10 days ago nine days ago that they got together and in Egypt and it's the COP27. So I'm just going to read you the first three paragraphs to see that they actually promote this objective, this agenda. And then they go into this half-hearted explanation about what the kingdom of God will do for mankind. And it says there on Sunday, November the 20th, 2022, the COP27 United Nations Climate Change Conference ended. Although a landmark agreement was reached that would financially assist vulnerable countries to cope with climate disasters, many recognized that this will not solve the root problem. I welcome the decision to establish a loss and damage funds fund, uh, said Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of the United Nations on November the 19th, 2022. So this is promoting, right, the um, uh, Secretary of the United Nations and what he said in this uh, COP27. Clearly, uh, this Secretary said, clearly this will not be enough. Our planet is still in the emergency room. And also they quote a few other politicians and what they said in this COP27. Uh, we have here a reference from uh, Mary Robinson, Robinson, former president of Ireland, a former UN High Commissioner of Human Rights, who she said, the world remains on the brink of climate catastrophe. Um, and they end this first part of this article, this article by saying young people are especially worried about the future of our planet. However, can the nations work together and fulfill their promise to address climate change? What does the Bible say? So when they go and ex explain what the Bible say about climate change, they go and do, I think they, they do a horrible job. Um, this article, the next, sorry, the next subtitle of this article says this. The Bible reveals that despite the hard work and sincere efforts of those involved, any progress that the, any progress that the nations make is solving, in solving the climate crisis will be limited. And they quote a few verses here. One is from Ecclesiastes 1.15. What is crooked cannot be made straight. And the other one is from 2 Timothy 3, uh, 2 and 3, where it says, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, not open to any agreement. So that doesn't remind me any of the uh, kind of writing we used to see back in the old days when they were going out of the way to say God will destroy those who create, who destroy the earth 
and the old mystic world this verse from the book of revelation this is very much a pacified a very lukewarm response to oh yeah you're doing a good job but look god will solve all these problems and you wouldn't expect um followers of christ to do such a lukewarm response when it came to climate change and those who promote this agenda now as they come to the end of this article they have a link for an another article where they quote more verses and i covered that in the past and this article uh, it was also on their website front page some time ago and it was climate change and our future what does the bible say now when you click on that and i have the link below when you click on that you find out that they quote a verse from isaiah 45 18 where it says god did not create the earth simply for nothing but formed it to be inhabited so they have this they promote this idea which is a strange idea that when god says that i didn't create the earth for nothing and they have a planet, the, the illustration they have for this article is a planet being exploded into many pieces in the universe. And this is not what it means to, uh, for the Earth to be destroyed. When the Earth has been destroyed in the past and didn't explode into millions of pieces in the universe, it was just basically God destroyed the surface of the Earth and the immediate heavens. And I have referenced that verse in the past. I want to read that again because Jehovah's Witnesses believe that God will not, uh, this climate change will not affect the earth in any way in the future. God will destroy all these people before they do any real harm or damage on the earth. I've got news for you. There's some real harm and damage coming on the planet very soon. And that is all quoted in the book of Revelation. But I think... Uh, most succinctly uh, put it Peter the Apostle Peter made a comparison with the flood of Noah and Paul Peter says the earth was destroyed in uh, Noah's flood it will be destroyed again in the future it's quite simple so in uh, 2nd Peter 3 and verses 5 to 7 we read there for they deliberately ignore this fact that long ago there were heavens and an earth standing firmly out of water and in the midst of water by the word of God. So people ignore that, that the earth was destroyed by flood, all right? And that by those means the world of that time suffered destruction when it was flooded with water. The world suffered destruction. Jehovah's promise, Jehovah's witness promise, that there won't be any destruction. But Peter says there was a destruction in the past, all right? So in verse 7, it says, by, But by the same word, the heavens and the earth that now exist are reserved for fire and are being kept until the day of judgment and of destruction of the ungodly people. And if you watch, uh, there's quite a few people are talking about it, especially New Age uh, new ages who uh, know a little bit about the future because obviously somebody's been speaking to their ear. Um, they teach this uh, global flare, sorry, the flare that will come on the earth. Basically, the sun will give away such a big flare in the future that will destroy the planet. And this is not that far away from what Peter says that in the end, in the end, during the time of the end, God will destroy the earth with fire like it did in the past with water so that is what uh this uh, the bible says about the earth being destroyed in the future by fire but what i get from this article is that they every time you see these articles the first three paragraphs are always promoting un agenda and uh it's not the same the kind of articles that they used to write in the past condemning governments and going against the governments and preaching uh, sulfur and fire against those governments is a very different thing. And of course, we know that is a different thing because they are in bed, still in bed with the United Nations and they are still in bed with governments. More recent example is the pandemic we went through and they went over and beyond to please the local governments 
with their stance. So with that in mind, um, uh, this is the article and I'll leave the link below. Like and subscribe and uh, there is, uh, I do every Friday, the Watchtower study articles, which are always a week before the study, go the study article is being studied at, at the Kingdom Hall. So this Friday I'm doing the study article that will be uh, studied next week. So if you come back on a Friday, you will find this uh, study article with all my commentary um, as, I, uh, as I produce it. So thanks for listening and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.